Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how to restore all of your services back to default settings. Now, if you like tweaking your system and you've messed up your services by disabling them or setting them to a different setting and you want to restore them back to default, then I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, yesterday we made a video about disabling services. I always don't recommend that you disable services because it can break your system. So if we take Windows Error Reporting Service, for instance, and we look at this one, you can clearly see that it says running under the status window here. And it says startup type automatic triggered start. So if I click on this one here, you can clearly see the service status is running. That means it's impacting the system and it's going to take some resources to run. So if I stop this service and then put this to disable, that service will not run. And that means that we've now clawed back some resources. So let's go to another service, which we can take a look at um, up the top here. And I'll give you an idea of a service that's not running that will not be impacting the system. So we'll just quickly talk about ActiveX. Click on this one here. And you can see this is set to manual. And also the service is stopped and it's not running. It's not started. This means it's not going to be impacting the system. And that means if you disable this, it will make no difference whatsoever to your system. So having this set to manual mode allows Windows to start a service when needed. However, very few services will start up when required in manual mode. If you need to have a service at start up, you're best to put it in automatic mode and it will start up automatically rather than having it in manual mode. So that is the difference between having a startup type to manual or disabled or a service that is stopped or a service that is running. This is a service that is not in use anymore by Microsoft. It's an end of life service. So they're not actually using this anymore. You could leave it set to manual if you wanted to. It's not going to hurt your system or impact your system. But if you've got no use for it and it's never going to be used ever again, you can disable it. Let's just get that clear. OK, so now let's go ahead and talk about resetting all of these services. So if we go down to the disabled section, I've disabled a load of these just to show you how to restore these back to default settings. Now It's very difficult to remember what you had these services set to at the time. And when you go into here, you might not remember that this was running or whether it was set to manual or whether it was automatically delay start or so on. So we can set these back to default. Let me show you how. First off, for every operating system, there is a forum for this one called 11forum.com. You can go here and there will be a long list of services that you can see here that with the uh, settings for them. This is the service name and the service display name will be this one here, ActiveX Installer. And then we've got this name here, which is what's going to be classed as the service name. If we go back to the services here and I'll quickly show you the ActiveX installer here and how you can reset it back. So up the top, so you can see here name ActiveX installer and then the actual service itself, it has a shortened down name called service name and this is it right here. And this is the service name in short and then we have the longer name display name. Okay, so now we've got that done. Let's go back to the website here and what you can do is click on this file here, and this will give you a registry file. Now, a lot of services can be restored by using the registry file, but not all. And some will need to have uh, ownership taken of the trusted installer for you to restore back to default settings. But basically, on some of these, you can double click this, and it will ask you, do you want to install this into the registry here? We're going to say yes. And if we go back, to our services, refresh the page, and you'll see that the service has been put back to default settings the way it was. Now, of course, this is going to be doing it one at a time. So I've deliberately disabled a whole bunch of these, like these here, so we can restore these with a batch file. And I'll quickly show you how that works here. Now, you can download files with all of the registry and the hive files here and there's a bunch of them here as you can see i've already got them downloaded so these are handy to keep in case you need to restore them and again there is also the hive files now a long time ago 
ESET made a program called Service Repair, and they don't seem to make that anymore or support it. But this would reset the services back to default after malware had attacked it and things like that. And you could use this to reset it back as well. But we're going to be using a script created by Freebooter. And uh, you can check out his YouTube channel. I'll leave the link in the video description. While you're over there, consider giving him a sub by hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified when he uploads new videos. So what I'm going to do is paste in a couple of uh, links here. Now, these links are to the script itself. One of them's on the 11forum.com, and I'll put the link in the video description. You can download it, but because it's an open script, it's going to give you a warning, and you can see here, it's uh, going to give you a warning. Do you want to keep this file? And you can say keep, and then it will give you another warning to say make sure you trust the the actual file here. And you can then click on this little arrow and keep anyway, and it will allow you to download it if you want to download it from 11 Forum. I will upload it to my server as well, which I will zip it up, and it will be in a zip format, which allow you to download it without having to go through the security measures. And uh, you can just download it straight away here. And then you can unzip it. And basically, you can use this to reset all of the services for all of the operating systems from Windows XP all the way up to Windows 11. So Freeboot has created a batch file which will basically reset and restore all of your services back to default settings from XP, Windows 7, Vista, you know, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11. It'll do all of those operating systems and restore them. So if you downloaded it from my link from my server, you will need to extract it. If you got it from the 11 forum, it will come straight down unzipped. And you can see here, Freeboot has got his script here. And if I show you what's inside here, it's got all the versions here. So it's going to go off and check what version of operating system you've got, and it will restore those uh, services for you. And there's a big list of them here, and that's because it's covering every operating system here. So it will check what version of operating system you're running and it will then go ahead and reset those services for you which i think is pretty cool so thanks to freebooter for creating this script for us so what we're going to do is right click on this script and run this as administrator and uh, you'll get a prompt box popping up here and all you need to do is wait and it will go off and it will start to restore all of those services back to their default settings once it gets to the end here it's going to ask you to restart your pc so all you need to do is push enter and it will restart your pc and uh, basically put those settings back so we'll just go ahead and push enter here and get the pc restarted so we can get back to the desktop and then i'll show you uh, all of these services should be back to default settings so here we are back at the desktop so let's quickly go down to the search box and type in here services and then we can check out uh, all of these services here. So I'll quickly type services in the box here and we can push enter and it should give us the services here. We can click on this. There we go. Click on the services cog and then it will open up. Now you may see a couple of services inside here that are still disabled, but that's okay because these are disabled by default. These are remote registry and a bunch of other ones which are disabled by default uh, for your protection. And uh, basically, that is it. That is how you can reset and restore all of your services back to their default settings if you've been tampering with them and disabled a bunch of them and you can't remember the settings, what they were before. So big thanks to Freebooter for creating that script. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out goes to Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Hewson, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again for your support. I really do appreciate it. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.